how the expander is a removable expander when the patient can take it out clean and have a break and put it back the name of this expander is removable Howley expander or high risk expander the other type of expanders are fixed such a fixed high risk expander or MSE for adult patient the question now why we need expansion some cases and some cases we don't do any expansion the expansion is logically to provide more space for the teeth to accommodate to align and to have uh, more space uh, for rotated teeth tilted teeth inclined etc one important reason to do the expansion especially the fixed one is expanding the nasal airways which we'll talk about it later in this Howley removable expanders we can see the Howley screw expander in the middle in the upper appliance and the lower it's 3d expansion actually as you see there's three screws one for horizontal expansion and the other way other one sorry for the sagittal to provide more space for the permanent teeth to erupt the difference between fixed appliances and removable one is the dental expansion or the skeletal expansion skeletal expansion means expanding the bone itself uh, in comparing with the removable one which is expanding only the the teeth in other words inclining the teeth outward so expanding the bone of the maxilla is the preferred goal but it's minimum in the removable appliance like it's about 20 percent only with the growing patients with adult patients it's exclusively only dental expansion so inclining the teeth outward sometimes it's useful to incline the teeth outward if they are already inclined inward the body of this device is designed to deliver horizontal forces to expand the teeth and using this screw to activate it and splitting the maxilla the two halves of the maxilla in the palatal suture which is passing here in this line and we could see diastema in the middle or the space between the central teeth which is a good sign of the successful expansion for the lower appliance here as we see again we have three screws which is very useful to expand in the horizontal way and in the sagittal way because for this tools for this patient we don't have uh, enough space uh, for the uh, full permanent teeth eruption thus we are creating space and helping the future braces treatment to be more easier we should instruct uh, the parents to leave this device in salty water at least 30 minutes every two or three days to keep it clean now let's try to expand the screws and i'm showing now how to expand the same what i'm showing the parents and usually for this 3d expansion we are doing once per week if we expand too much we will lose the fitting of the device on the jaw now let's notice this arrow is indicating where we should expand our, or how to turn the device the screw to activate it so there's a small hole in the in the middle cylinder after inserting the key we will be able to make one turn so 
we could change the key for make way for the expansion again we are inserting and this is one turn let's do another one we see another hole after the first turn we insert it in this way and then expand this is another turn now we can notice the crack created this is about half millimeter because four turns makes one millimeter with higher screw let's do the horizontal expansion for this device we are doing one turn for each screw this is one turn and this is the second turn after seeing the other hole we made two turns and we see as well the device being splitted that means the space is being created let's make this split more obvious now we have around one millimeter here in this time the patient should be advised to wear the device as minimum as 16 hours per day otherwise with expansion expanding it will not be fit for the maxilla as uh, same concept with the lower appliance uh, there is a hole in the middle we insert it and creating space as well same principle once we insert we make sure that it's inside we make the full turn and we see the other hole which is ready for the other turn for the maxilla it's preferred to do one turn per week to give a chance for more skeletal expansions the more we turn the device over the time we should see this crack splitting in the uplands which means we are getting some expansion otherwise the screw could be not working now in the difference between the removable expansion and the fixed one the removable one is more for dental expansion and actually we prefer always the skeletal one skeletal expansion means the bone expansion that means we are providing more space for the nasal airways since the maxilla is connected directly with the nasal cavity so creating more width to the maxilla is creating more space for the breathing because usually when the maxilla is narrow the whole mid face is narrow i hope i was useful in this video for any questions please leave in the comment and thank you for watching